coming up on this programme, find out about our special Scarecrow Festival. Seven hundred and sixty scarecrows in one village is the target to beat, and counting is underway. Everyone, it seems, is in on the act. If you can't build one, the organisers will drop one off. We just finished uh, creating Sid the punk rocker when we received a call from an 85-year-old on the uh, on the local estate here, asking for a scarecrow. So you can well imagine the look on her face when we turned up with uh, with a punk rocker with a chain through its nose and uh, a Mohican hairdo. She was absolutely delighted with it. The Scarecrow Festival is instead of a summer fete. The money goes towards a new children's playground. It's all for a good cause. That's it. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the crowds, young and old alike, are flocking to this rural village. It's great, isn't it? It's great fun for everybody. All the kids are really enjoying it. Kids are having a great time. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, well, it brings people and it's a village community spirit, isn't it? I've been standing here ages and there's no Aunt Sally, no nice cup of tea and no slice of cake. But this guy and all his mates do seem to have brought this community together. It's enabled people to have a common point of discussion and you'll notice that uh, everybody's involved, whether they live in a big house or a cottage or wherever they live in the village and indeed in the parish as a whole. If you're driving in the area this weekend, a word of warning, speeders beware. Simon Harris, Northwest Tonight, Rural. Now finally, what started as a way to raise some money to refurbish the local playground has now become one of the biggest events of its kind in the world on one rural village. People from Thornton Huff are once again up to their eyes in straw as they prepare for their annual Scarecrow Festival. Carol Lowe went to take a look. Marilyn Monk Crow, Pirates of the Crow Abeon, and the characters of Shrek. Films are a big part of this year's straw extravaganza. Me and April designed the teeth of Donkey. Yeah. And, and I did I did uh, Dad I did the idea and Dad did it. Yeah, he of the tail. Of the tail. Eve has been involved from the beginning five years ago. Living on a busy road, her creations do more than just entertain the passers by. It slows all the traffic down, which is exactly what we wanted to do down this road. Everybody slows down. They generally park the cars and they walk along here and they keep walking right through the village. Planning starts almost a year in advance. The event raises hundreds of pounds for charity. Come the time to unveil the scarecrows, everyone gets secretive. Very few people will disclose what they're making in advance. And the garages and sheds of Thornton Huff uh, will be uh, uh, busy with people working away and then all of a sudden they start to appear like mushrooms overnight and they're popping up here and popping up there the closer you get the better you look baby and finally in the words of Anne Robinson you are the weakest crow goodbye Carol Lowe Northwest tonight Thornton Huff <laughs>